What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and today we're going over how to very easily farm spoils of conquest in D2 right now. Spoils are always in high demand, and ever since Papa Bungie took away our beloved Templar farm, people have been on the lookout for the next best thing. Well, today I'm going to show you not only what that is, but how pretty much anyone can do it as quickly as possible. And maybe a weird way to get free boss checkpoints? You're not going to want to miss this. Quick question though, do y'all like Orlando Bloom? <laughs> and also dragons? Of course you do. What kind of stupid ass question is that? Get ready for the sponsor of today's video, King of Avalon. Build your own kingdom and find alliances to defend your people. How do you accomplish that? Did I mention there are dragons? Raise those dragons and build your army in the quest to lift Excalibur and become the king. Each player has a unique dragon that they can raise and customize with special abilities, making every battle unique. The dragon doesn't just whip butt in combat, but will benefit your city development, training, and resource gathering. Check out the new tower defense mode with a more chill laid back vibe, allowing for fast progression and easy wins. Use strategy to defeat waves of the unmelted, or throw strategy to the wind and use your dragon. Wondering why I mentioned Orlando Bloom? Cause he's in the freaking game, but that's Orlando the night shard to you. A half human, half unmelted, and wields the night shard blade, of course. Summon him for free, but only available for a limited time. Download King of Avalon right now using my link in the video description or scan the QR code here. Use my creator code Fallout KOA as well to redeem a limited in game pack. Do this and you'll automatically be entered to win a $50 Amazon gift card. Winners will be notified in game within a month. There will be frost and flame in King of Avalon. Download now and I'll see you in game. All right, we back. Okay, again, regular. Templar farm RIP and we are going to the final encounter of the vow of the disciple raid instead. I know kind of funny the idea of the final encounter being the shortest possible encounter but yeah it's pretty easy and I'm gonna hopefully show you how you can lock up a no problem one phase. By the way huge goddamn life hack. Normally in a video like today's this is the point where I would say if you don't have a boss checkpoint already go through the entire raid until you get to the boss encounter then save the encounter on one character and farm it on another. We're still saving the checkpoint on one character and farming on another character, but I've learned about something weird. Some champion, some king among men named Luxtruck9 literally has a Discord channel showing the status of multiple bots under his command. Each bot with the sole purpose of holding checkpoints for literally anyone to grab. I'm not kidding. I actually got the boss checkpoint this way. I hope I'm not overloading how many people take advantage of this checkpoint bot system by mentioning it in today's video, but I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Either way, God bless that mother go support them somehow. So we've got our free boss checkpoint that I will now save on character A. And when my friends join my fire team, I swap over to character B. Okay, before we get to the loadout nitty gritty, let's cover the basics of the boss encounter. If at any point you get confused, remember I have an in-depth raid guide with more info, which I will link below. Here's the short version. Divide your team into three groups of two. Two people totally on ad clear, easiest job around. Do that if you're not confident. Two people who are gonna be dunking only and and two people who are going to be splitting the leeching buff back and forth between one another. I'm going to refer to Dunker 1 and Dunker 2 as D1 and D2, and the leeching buff splitters as L1 and L2. When the encounter begins and the first big crystal right in the middle pops up, have L1 go ahead and shoot that to gain the power of leeching. L1, you will now stand on the middle plate, making two more crystals appear. L2, you're going to shoot the left crystal, and D1, aka Dunker 1, is going to shoot the right crystal. We had a rule going where to keep things easy, the leeching buff splitters, aka L1 and L2, will always shoot the crystal on the left, and the two dunkers, aka D1 and D2, will always shoot the crystal on the right. Okay, after you've done that, L2, now you stand on the plate to pop up two more crystals, and L1 will again shoot left, and D2, aka dunker number two, will shoot the right. Now, you should be in a situation where L1 has leeching, and both dunkers, D1 and D2 also have leeching. Both dunkers now look for Rolk to shoot his orange Kamehameha, stand in the path of the beam, and upgrade that leeching buff to emanating. When they're emanating, make sure you have the correct call out of where to dunk ready to go. If possible, one of the ad clearers can help give a call out on what symbol is appearing. Remember, you need symbol call outs from a person who isn't buffed and a person who is buffed. When you have the correct symbol call out, you are made in the shade. It'll be that symbol the whole way through. Call out what 
totems you need to dunk into and have the dunkers dunk. We like to call the left three totems L1, L2, and L3, and the right three totems R1, R2, and R3, but whatever works for you. By the way, if you're still confused about that crystal shooting sequence, here are some tips to help you remember. The only people who stand on the middle plate are L1 and L2 who take turns standing on it to make the crystals appear. The leeching player always shoots left and the dunking players always shoot right. First, L1 is going to stand on the plate and then L2. And if both dunkers shoot the right crystal one at a time, you're good to go. Now, before a DPS phase, you need to dunk six times and with two dunkers, it should take only three waves. On the final wave, you technically, technically don't need to split the buff two times. You could just have the two dunkers both shoot the crystals on the final round and go right to Duncan. But because we don't want to potentially confuse first time raid boss killers or spoil farmers, we just did the same double pass method all the way through. Again, if you're confused, don't worry, I'll show you a full run at the end of the video. All right, run up the stairs and do the usual routine. Have a player shoot the glaive of Rolk to obtain leeching force. There will be a symbol that appears, either darkness, pyramid, light, or the traveler. Whoever's got the leeching force, step in the beam to emanate and then dunk that power into one of the four corners of the arena, depending on what symbol is called out by your teammates. Okay, damage phase time. Before we cover loadouts, I want to mention that we took advantage of a fun little strat that I heard about on the grapevine. Shout out to my boy Sides for telling me about it. If you have one player repeatedly strafing around in a circle by Rolk's feet, he will try to repeatedly face you, but he just kind of gets stuck in this funny little eternal spin move. It's not really mandatory that you do it, but you can potentially keep the boss in one place for easy damage. Make sure that player strafing around Rolk is also shooting him, by the way. Don't waste any damage by not shooting. Okay, loadout and strategy time. I know a lot of people might be tempted to do Titan Bubble or whatever, but there's an easier way to get good weapon damage right now. Right at the beginning of the damage phase, have just one guardian on your team pop their super while also being equipped equipped with both Radiant Light and Powerful Friends, the armor mods. That will guarantee that everyone in the area will now be charged with light, provided they are close enough, which they should be. As long as everybody has on the armor mod High Energy Fire, you'll now have an extra 20% damage buff for the entire boss fight. We had our super popper be the guy who ran around Rolk's feet to distract him. He was already in the dead center of the action, so why not? And by the way, if you remember from my recent dungeon farm video, Radiant currently stacks with high energy fire. As far as I know, Bungie hasn't fixed that yet, so be sure to try and periodically activate Radiant through the fight if you can. Even if you don't, the extra 20% from high energy fire should be more than enough to get the job done. Okay, weapon-wise, Storm Chaser, absolutely b Really hope you farmed one by now. Again, if you have not, see my farming video. The ideal perk for the Storm Chaser would be Firing Line if you have one with that perk. If you don't, Vorpal or even Frenzy would be fine too. I like to pair Wither Horde together with Storm Chaser. You can have multiple Guardians doing that if you wish. Now, technically, an enemy can only take damage from two Wither Hordes at the same time, one via direct impact and one on the floor. If you have more than two people on the team rocking Wither Horde, probably not that big of a deal. It's not like you're going to have perfectly optimal timing with your Wither Horde shots anyway. If you don't have a Storm Chaser, here's a combo that still works really well for DPS. Is the Nagi's Burden and an auto-loading rocket launcher. There's a very specific firing method to that though, which I will show you right now. Making sure your Izanagi already has the powered up bullet ready to go, we're going to lead off with the rocket launcher. Fire your rocket, now swap to Izanagi. Fire the uber bullet, then immediately hold the reload button down to insta-reload another Another uber bullet into the chamber. Now swap back to your rocket launcher, which should be fully reloaded, and rinse and repeat. Fire the rocket, swap to Izanagi, fire the uber bullet, immediately reload another uber bullet in, swap back to rocket launcher. Ideally, your rocket launcher has some kind of damage dealing perk on it as well, like lasting impression, or vorpal weapon, or explosive light, and also impact casing in column two. By the way, fairly mandatory that someone on the team has a divinity. Literally the best raid weapon ever made. Makes damage on a boss unbelievably free. If, God help you, no one has a divinity, you could try to bring out maybe Tractor Cannon or the Heart Shadow Exotic Sword. You may have to settle for a two-phase if that's the case, which not really a big deal, but yeah, someone should really be bringing a divinity. If you don't have a Storm Chaser or an auto-loading rocket Izanagi, I don't know, Sleeper Simulant? Again, you might have to settle for a two-phase, not really a huge deal. 
feel. Armor mod wise, try to build into whatever loadout you're rocking. Are you rocking a Storm Chaser? Load up Linear Fusion Rifle Loader and Linear Fusion Reserves. Rocket Launcher Izanagi Combo, Rocket and Sniper Reserves, maybe with a Dexterity or Reloader mod. Divinity Player, God love ya. Trace Rifle Reserves and Trace Rifle Reloader. Always spec into whatever you're trying to accomplish with your build. You can also bring Burst Supers, of course, for the final damage phase against Big Daddy Rolk, always helpful. I went Solar Warlock to take advantage of the Radiant and High Energy Fire Buff combo. Popped my super, but I didn't really need to. Maybe a Nova Bomb, a Thunder Crash, or a Blade Barrage would help though if you want good burst damage. Definitely a good idea either way, because you could be running low on ammo by the time the fight is over. Some of my teammates had pretty weird loadouts to lock up the one phase, but uh, yeah, it's not that difficult to do right now. If you've got hard-hitting burst weapons, good teamwork, and permanent 20% extra weapon damage due to high energy fire, you are made in the shade. By the way, keep in mind that you won't get spoils to drop until after your first clear of the week. But then after that first clear, you can just do it over and over and over. Okay, if you want to see one, here is a full run. I will catch you at the end of the video. The skull it's kind of amazing that I used all my power ammo in the first three seconds of that last <laughs> encounter that we just ran. That shit was crazy. Pull it one. Oh, fucking wild. Pull one. And uh, quick on two, emanate middle. What the? All right, where go? Oh wait, never mind. We don't even know the fucking symbols. What the symbol f? Uh, I'm almost certain it's gonna be pyramid, but we'll find out here. Let's uh, find out. Heart, cup, traveler. Uh, uh it is heart. heart. It's, it's heart. heart. It's heart. Yeah. L1, L2. I'll type it. Atta boy. I will go to L2, Atta boy. Oh, understood. After you. Me too. One. Are we pulling out? Oh shit, my bad. Uh, okay. Oh. I have pulled. Split one. I have I. Did it, it not give it to me though? No, I have it. Okay, okay. wow, it came as being weird. I don't know. Ooh, there's an and split two. Someone need to shoot left. PLZ. Please. Thank yep, you. Yep, I got it. Terrific. L1, L2 again. Yeah, I will go L2 again. Understood. Double L1. Double L2. Holding nothing but L's today. <laughs> That's crazy. That's <laughs> God intended. That's crazy. From downtown. Real shit. 100. Split one. No kizzy. And yoinked. R1, and, R2. And uh, how about you? Oh, God. Hurry. Split two. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Right. Get down. Three, two, right. one. Go, 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 go. All right. That's all six. Uh, Hooray. Pause. See, this encounter is easy. You just have to do it. man. Ain't no That's problems true. here. Who the fuck is calling me? <laughs> me every it's time about my, my phone. car extended he wants to know if you warranty. Bow, bow. What about your The real question is, would you rather have a cat grill friend or a cat girlfriend? <laughs> oh, grill shit. friend for unlimited food, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll say grill. Is it even a grill decision? friend? Yeah. A grill friend. Through. No, you're a. No, that's not what you are. R2. We're talking about a friend, yeah, a friend who grills. Excuse me, Rob. <laughs> yeah. What we all need in our life. That's true. Grill. What we our really all need. Yeah. L1. Damn, man. You really think I'd throw shade at you like that for real? Yeah. All right, I'm good. Yes, yeah, fucked up. <laughs> Damn, I just got ratioed by that. Am I about to get the Uh, there, there do be shadow thrall here for the orb farming. I hear that. I must oh, have heard you're that. Good. Wrong. I, I'm done. Oh, you're though. done. L2. Okay. This one's pyramid. <laughs> you son of a L2. bitch. Oh, oh, this one's not belt two. L2. I shouldn't have done that. Shoulder. I can keep making orbs if you guys want them. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm good, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm good. Which one is that? L1. Now he's. L1. And, L1. It, and now it's L1. Nah. I shot it. L1 again. Understood. Oh, leave the thrall. Leave the thrall. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. I was I was literally mid melee animation. Might be. Might be. A laser right here, big guy? Ah, oh, thank you. I'm oh. totally not swapping to elemental. You son of a right bitch. Now. Son of bitch. Get out of here. Uh, damage time? No, no, uh, no yes. not quite yet. Well, right about momentarily, momentarily. Okay, that would be damage time. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go, boys. Yeah, hit him with all that garbage. Random bullshit. Go. <laughs> Attack. Alright, three. And two, my radiant is one, over. And reload. Ah, and yeah, we go. Foot. Damn it! I meant to shoot the ground he was walking on. I'm walking. <laughs> oh, 
it's clean, mm, boys. The boss so clean. Just tanking the boss. Can he, uh... <laughs> Just tanking the boss, boss. Is, is he good? I, he's he's damaged. He's freaking out. He's, he's freaking out. For free bonds. Let's get him. I've never seen get his ass. Damage. <laughs> they weren't ready for that. They were he's ready for this damage, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let the footage now show you all of our loadouts in case you are curious. Remember, more than one loadout will work fine. You just need big burst damage and high energy fire. Do me a favor, would you hit the like button on today's video and share it with a friend who might need a new spoil farm? Come swing by my Twitch channel and say hi. I stream there most days of the week. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.